Welcome to Everything Security, I'm Gaznofer. In this video, we'll talk about single sign-on and federated identity management. From a user's perspective, single sign-on and federated identity management both are the same thing. You log in once and access different services without being asked to log in again. For an example, you log on to your Google account and access YouTube and Gmail without having to log in again. However, behind the scene there is a minor difference on the, how these things work. Single sign-on SSO. With single sign-on, other than your identity provider, that is your organization, each of the service providers, that is any third-party service such as Office 365, will have to re-authenticate you separately as you try to access them. Although it happens automatically, without you having to re-enter your credentials but for now just know that it happens and to make it happen the service provider communicates to your identity provider through a security assertion markup language SAML or some similar XML standard but let's understand how it works when you try to access a service the service provider sends SAML request to your identity provider if currently you aren't already authenticated at the service pro identity provider, you will be prompted to enter your credentials and it will authenticate you first. Now the identity provider will send an authentication token for you to the service provider in sample response and you will be authenticated, probably without noticing anything except for a few redirecting calls at the URL bar of your browser. Now, that since each of the trusted services have re-authenticated you separately so signing off from one service will not necessarily sign you off from the other ones now we'll talk about federated identity management FIM the term federation here is basically collaboration of trust in this case uh, there could be multiple identity providers that have access to different services from different service providers, all centrally managed, identity providers never sharing user credentials with the service providers, and all of that with more security is and cost of sa cost savings. What it takes is collaboration of trust. Uh, let's see how the thing is going to work if you need to access a service. The service provider will send a sample request and something similar but this time the request goes to a central federation application instead of the identity provider as earlier in the case of SSO. The federation application will basically check two things is your identity provider a part of federation and the second do you have the permissions right permissions to access the service if the answers are yes the federation application will indicate the service provider to let you in without any exchange of your credentials. Remember, in FIM, once you are removed from your identity provider, you will be removed from federation application. And once you are removed from federation application, you can access any services. Thank you.